Hey what's up Halo fans, welcome back to another Halo Infinite video. So I have some info about the Flood that nobody is hardly talking about. So the question is, you know, will the Flood make a return in Halo Infinite? It's insane because we haven't seen the Flood since Halo 3, which was 13 years ago. And yes, I'm totally aware they made their appearance in Halo Wars 2, but they haven't actually appeared in the FPS Halo game since Halo 3. We all know the Banished Brutes are returning since there has been a lot of leaks for them, but I absolutely believe the Flood will also make a return, and here's why. You all remember this footage here that 343 shown a while back, where they were showing off behind the scenes of the audio for Halo Infinite? They did this audio sounds for the Pug. When people started watching this, everybody was speculating the sounds could be for the Flood, which means they could return in Halo Infinite along with the Banished Roots, and we might be right after all. And I do have a little proof that they will return. Someone sent me this image in my Discord group uh, like a week ago and I was blown away when I saw it. So if you guys go onto this website called uh, Halo Infinite IMDB uh, and if you scroll down and here you see three voice actors. You see Steve Downs known as Master Chief John 117 and then here you, you have uh, Jen Taylor known as Cortana. But when you look at this third voice actor here you then see the name called Gyo Gyoza or Gyoza, the, you know, the pug, however you pronounce the name. So that's the dog's name basically, right? But when you look at the right here, it says the Flood Infection Form. Let me repeat that again. Flood Infection Form. Which means the Flood are returning in Halo Infinite. How exciting is that? Like, not only the fact that the Brutes are returning, it's the Flood too. Now the hype is real. <laughs> I will leave this link in the bottom description for you guys to see for yourself if you guys don't believe me. I mean, they have to return, right? I mean, especially, you know, the game would take place on a uh, Zeta Halo ring and every installation rings, you know, you know, do have the flood, I believe. Uh, it would be quite silly if they didn't. Uh, so yeah. So moving on to another exciting news I want to talk about is the Master Chief's armor color. Uh, so we all remember last year E3, his armor was bright green. Uh, well, if you look at this new image here that 340 has posted recently, they seem to update the armor color into dark and green version, uh, which I'm very, very happy about. Uh, I mean, there's nothing wrong with the light green armor. Uh, I'd be fine with both of them. It doesn't matter. Uh, but I personally think the dark green uh, color suits the Chief, and it looks so awesome. And yes, this is an actual Halo Infinite image you see here, and not some Mega Bloks leak image we saw previously. But there is something bizarre about his helmet. I'm not sure if it's just the camera angle shot that 343 took, but his helmet seems different compared to what we saw last time. It has that Halo 4 and 5 helmet design, which I'm not a big fan of. Uh, I don't know, it could just be me thinking that. Uh, we have to see what it looks like in the official game. Anyways, I think I'm going to stop the video here now. I know this is a you know quite a short video. I felt like I needed to share this, but let me know what you what do you guys think of you know about this video down in the comments below. Do you guys think, you know, we will officially see the Flood again after all these years? And what are your thoughts on Master Chief's uh, color armor? Uh, do you guys like the change? Uh, Halo Infinite gameplay is literally around the corner and I'm very, very excited to see what 343 has in store for us. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe for more Halo content and like the video and be sure to follow me on Twitch. I do stream a lot of Halo on Twitch and I'll see you Spartans next time.